In today's video, I want to show you how you can use ChatGPT as a market research tool and how you can use it to customize your landing page, get interesting information, and do a bunch of other stuff using the masterful power of AI. So let's jump into it. If you don't know, my name's Alex Berman. I run this YouTube channel here. Smash that like button for more videos like this and comment for more so we can keep this going. If you didn't know, my software is a company called Galadon, which helps you build your own AI in under 10 minutes. Here's our current MRR, current number of users, our user growth, and our number of trials. But as you can see here, trials have been slowing down and plateauing. So I realized we need to customize Galadon for the specific market. Build your own AI in under 10 minutes just isn't going to cut it. There's no benefit statement. What does that even mean? These are things you realize after you launch the startup. So let's go to GPT and use it for market research. We'll start with the first prompt. First, go to Galadon.io and learn what it is. Then, can you write me a Reddit post full of all the issues of a business owner that's trying to grow his business? Some traction and decent money coming in, but let's say growth is stuck at 1% month over month and he wants 100%. So now GPT is writing a post from the target market's point of view that will tell us exactly what they're dealing with. So we have cash flow challenges, market saturation, scaling opportunities, hiring woes, keeping up with trends, et cetera, et cetera. This is a fine story, but we need more detail. So here is how we take it and make it all about Galadon. Okay, now as the director of marketing for Galadon.io, tell me how Galadon will help him be hyper-specific and do a chain of beliefs. Bing, search, this. Go. Galadon IO offers a no-code AI integration, allowing businesses to easily incorporate GPT-4 into their SaaS products. The AI has now learned everything about Galadon that it needs. It sees the integrations here. We work with Leadpages, Squarespace, Weebly, all these ones. It's looking at the testimonials. It's looking up all this stuff. And it's writing out how we can help them based on the issues laid out here. This is market research that would be worth thousands of dollars in the old days before AI, but now we get it for free. But it's not enough to just be a good salesman and have this laid out. Let's push back on it. Okay, now as the customer, give me a ton of excuses or bad beliefs around all these topics, then break each belief down with potential examples, etc. for Galadon. Now it's going through and pointing out all the issues. AI integration is complicated. No, it's not. AI won't fit our unique benefits. Yes, it will. AI can't reflect our brand identity. Yes, it will. AI solutions are not compatible with our current platforms. Yes, they are. And so on. Super easy. Now let's go into the worries some more. Can you make me a list of what the ideal Galadon user worries about the most? In their words and how Galadon solves it, in the most persuasive way possible, this is a reference sheet for the sales and marketing team. Let's do it. User concern. I'm not tech savvy. AI integration sounds too complex. Our no-code integration is designed for ease of use. With a simple drag-and-drop interface, you can integrate cutting-edge AI into your website effectively. Perfect. Stick around because the next thing we're going to do based on this information is going to blow your mind. Now we have a reference sheet to show our salespeople that will help them sell Galadon if that's what they want to do. But let's go ahead and give me a sheet to give to our lead generation team. I want to know who our ideal customers are and be as specific as possible, including triggers like technology they might be using. Target either people with live chat and get them to switch to more effective AI or people with AI chatbots like Chatbase because Galadon is better trained for higher conversions. Director of sales is the job title. Now we have a sheet that we can use for our cold emails or for our targeting and ads or anything that'll tell us the business type that we're going after. The businesses that use live chat systems, either AI chatbots like Chatbase or non-AI based chat like Olark. Personally, I think the ones using non-AI based chat would fit better here. Galadon in our testing actually outperforms chat base as well. Our salespeople are better trained, our AI salespeople. So we've got key triggers, which we can use when writing our cold email campaigns, writing our ads, whatever. We've got our job titles to target, pain points, advantages to highlight, perfect. Now come up with a leads brief. Include specific benefit statements for the cold email team to follow, including specific search criteria to use in a tool like Seamless or ZoomInfo, and a specific benefit statement around Galadon. Target businesses in e-commerce, SaaS, online services, and content-driven sectors. Look for companies currently using basic live chat or standard AI chatbots. Focus on organizations showing online activity or interest in AI, customer engagement, or digital transformation. Identify contacts with titles like director of sales, e-commerce manager, CMO, or customer experience director. Perfect. But we want to get a little more info. Okay, for tools that our target market uses, chat and AI-based chat, please list a ton of them, including popular ones that are more likely to be in these lead databases. Intercom, Drift, Sendesk chat, live chat. Now I can go over to something like Instantly, go to their lead finder section, and in technologies, grab Intercom, and here are 3 million results of companies that use Intercom at their businesses. If we want, we can also niche down by location, like United States. 
the job title would be director of sales. Any industry, because if they're using live chat, they're going to be good to go when it comes to these chatbots. Any revenue is fine as well, but let's say over $1 million and under $100 million. Just because we don't want to get into a corporate sales situation. We want people to sign up immediately. And so we have 333 results here. Now, if we add Drift, we have 585. They don't have Zendesk chat. That's okay. Let's go to Tidio. They have Tidio. Now we have 677. If we have Olark, now we have 852, et cetera, et cetera. Now our lead list is being built for people that are just using live chat. And our cold email campaign can be focused 100% on how Galadon's chatbot will outperform their current sales team. Easy freaking peasy. But let's take it one step further. That was director of sales, but Galadon has two sides, a sales focused chatbot side, and this is perfect for them. Then do one for the other side, the AI powered lead magnet side of things. This one directed at the person responsible for generating MQLs and using white papers, etc. currently. One of my favorite uses for Galadon are these AI powered lead magnets, something like I built here on alexberman.com where we've got this AI proposal generator, but you have to put in your name and your email address for it to work. But then we use AI to generate your proposal. So businesses can use this to go viral and generate leads for their business at a rate that's much better than your typical white paper. So let's see what kind of ideas we can generate. For the AI powered lead magnet side of Galadon, targeting individuals responsible for generating MQLs who currently use white papers or other traditional lead magnets is key. Here's a list of tools and platforms they might be using along with benefit statements. HubSpot, Marketo, Lead Pages, Unbounce, Contently. This is perfect because Galadon integrates with Lead Pages and Unbounce and anyone that uses custom HTML. So let's go here and let's clear these technologies out. This is Instantly's lead finder. Now we'll switch from director of sales to director of marketing. And in technology, let's do our thing. Lead pages, 44 million results found. That seems a little odd to me. HubSpot, there we go. Now it's balanced, 2000 results found, etc., etc. Now we're building up the lead list and we can directly pitch them because we know this audience already uses lead magnets. So they understand when I say AI powered lead magnets, we don't have to teach the audience what a lead magnet is. And then as a McKinsey analyst, look at the two target markets, marketing directors and sales director, and make your recommendations for Galadon, which one to go all in on. So now it's doing an analysis to figure out which market I should go after. Are we going after director of marketing or director of sales? And it gave me the weakest call. If marketing directors is better, go with marketing directors. If sales directors is better, go with sales directors. Make an opinionated all you AI goofball. He wants to focus on marketing directors. I agree, although I think we should focus on both and see what works. In a future video, I'm gonna go through and build landing pages for each one. That would be our next step to do galadon.io slash marketing or galadon.io slash sales and have two different landing pages, one for the sales directors and one for the marketing directors that speak directly to their needs. If you wanna see that video, comment Galadon down below and we'll make that happen. Also, if you wanna try Galadon and build your own AI in under 10 minutes, you can do that at galadon.io. Thanks for watching the video. Smash that like button for more content like this. Subscribe for more videos like this and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. I'm Alex Berman.